This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to talk about bed bugs but I don't want to talk just you know how to kill them or you know where they live or you know anything like that I got lots tons of videos on all that stuff and you can go back through my channel and watch those videos also if you really like the content give me a thumbs up if you uh, and consider subscribing to my channel it really does help the channel a lot it helps push me in front of you know new faces so that hopefully we can kick this bed bug problem uh, for good so uh, one of the things that I get a lot when I you know, do a bed bug video on whether or not it's you know, diatomaceous earth and why it doesn't work or uh, you know, crossfire and how to apply it and all the different pesticides. And by the way, all the chemicals that I talk about on my video, as far as you know, the, the ones that I recommend people use for this bug or that bug or whatever, they're all linked below on my Amazon page. I have an Amazon page where you can go through and you can look at all the different things that, you know, that I use for my business and what I have found to be the most effective uh, pesticides to deal with you know, different types of bugs. Like I said, whether or not it's ants or bed bugs or fleas or you know, any kind of bug problem you might have, the answer is usually over on my Amazon page. So uh, also I wanted to mention that you should really bookmark that page because pesticides change. Um, different things will work better than what maybe work today. And so whenever we have a new pesticide on the market that I start using for, you know, whatever it may be, whether it's bed bugs or whatever, um, I always update that list. I try to keep it updated. And that way you can always find the current up-to-date pesticides that I'm using in my business. So anyway, let's talk about bed bugs and pesticides. So if you've been, you know, on my channel for very long and you've seen any of my other videos you know that I use crossfire for bed bugs and the reason I use crossfire for bed bugs is because it's a non-repellent pesticide the bugs don't really see it as a chemical they don't know it's there they don't know that you know I've treated with anything and so they continue to behave like normal come out crawl through the chemical and they die which works really really good but today we're going to talk about immunity so Bugs develop pesticide immunity. What does that mean? The, I mean, the, the chemical, so if you go to Walmart and you buy a pesticide at Walmart, um, a lot of times that chemical, the, when you use it, one of the reasons that you're still having problems with bugs is because the bugs have developed a chemical immunity. It means that the pesticide will no longer kill that bug or it won't kill that bug effectively so we have in the pest control industry and i'm going to go over bed bugs in this video because that seems to be the, the one thing people are really concerned about the most the life cycle of a bed bug so the bed bug lays its eggs the eggs hatch within six to ten days and the nymph doesn't actually come out and bite you for another week or so it can be up to three weeks before you get bitten by that bug that's been laid in that egg. And one of the problems is, is that bugs are, well, especially bed bugs and cockroaches, are actually born, I say born, they hatch from eggs, so I guess you could consider, consider that a birth. But when they come out of their egg, there's an actual chemical in their body that helps keep them immune to pesticides so that you know a lot of times when I go into homes especially like German cockroaches or bed bugs most people are only seeing the younger stages they're not really seeing any older stages left because all of them have pretty much died out because as they get older that that chemical in their body reduces and so they start to die because you know, the chemical starts to kill them um, and so this is a natural defense that bugs have to pesticides because you know pesticides aren't something that you know were invented by man Pesticides, there are flowers, there's plants, there's trees, there's different, different uh, you know, natural pesticides in the environment 
that bugs have to be able to uh, defend against. And so when they, when they hatch from their eggs, the young are naturally already somewhat immune to pesticides. So, but also there, you know, what about these man-made chemicals, you know, like, you know, different ones like DDT and stuff like that. What about these chemicals? So pesticides, insects develop an immunity to pesticides, meaning that when you treat, let's say you have, let's go with the number 100. So let's say you have 100 bed bugs in a house. And you spray that house. You treat the bed, you treat the frame, you treat everything. And you only kill 80%, which would be 80 bed bugs. There's 20 bed bugs left. Why don't those bed bugs die? Well, the reason that they don't die is because they're immune already, genetically immune, to that specific pesticide that you've used. So when they give birth or when they reproduce or whatever you know the genetics passes on from the mother to the baby and the baby is also immune so you start to develop this super strain of bugs that is chemically immune to your pesticides not only that but as we continue to spray so the way that bugs die is they absorb chemicals through their body through their exoskeleton so the bugs with a naturally thinner exoskeleton are going to absorb pesticides quicker and they're going to die faster. So we will selectively kill bugs, not only that are like immune to the chemical, but they're, all, they're immune through their thicker exoskeleton as well because we can't make pesticides but so strong. We don't want to you know, hurt people. We just want to kill bugs. So... The, so selectively, we have uh, bred a bed bug that has a thicker exoskeleton, so it doesn't absorb chemicals as quickly, and they're also immune to the pesticides that we're using because they're a weaker concentration. So how do you combat that? This is the, the, reason, I'm, the reason I'm going over this. I know that was a little bit of a science you know, lesson there, but the reason that I'm going over this is because I have a lot of people that comment on my videos about how to get rid of bed bugs and they say well I don't believe you because you're a pest control technician and I hired pest control and they can't get rid of my bug problem okay so and and I and they'll also say things like I've used this pesticide I've used that pesticide and no chemical works at all well that's because they're using things that everyone else is using too so this is another thing you have to take into account with pesticide immunity is that the chemicals that you are using as a consumer, if you go to Walmart and you buy the big purple jug that says bed bug killer on the side and you bring it home and you spray it, how many other people do you think have done that? Okay, you're using a chemical, you're, you're killing a bug that you had to get from someone else, you know, like roaches or bed bugs, both come from other people. The only way you can get them is from other people. So these other people, do you think that they've been spraying their house for bed bugs? Of course. They want to get rid of them too. So they go to Walmart, they buy that big purple jug, and they try to kill their bed bugs. So you got to understand that everybody's using the same thing. They're all using the same chemical, and these bugs generationally are just being bred to be these super bugs that don't die from chemicals. Because the chemicals are, one, they're undermixed, they're not mixed to the right concentration, and two, they're being overapplied. So the bugs are actually developing these immunities to the chemicals rather quickly. In fact, there's some study that's been done by Bayer on roaches. It says it only takes about 90 days to develop a completely chemical immune cockroach, meaning that you can spray that chemical, whatever you used 90 days ago. Today, if you use it, it won't kill any of them. Not one single bug will die from the pesticide that you've applied. So because we don't rotate our chemicals on our store shelves, because, you know, Walmart doesn't know what to sell you, what the bugs are immune to. They don't know. All they know is this is what the cons consumer wants and they just put it on the shelf. So the thing about killing bed bugs and the reason that I talk about, you know, the elimination of bed bugs and using Crossfire is because Crossfire isn't just one pesticide. It's three. So if you look at the label of Crossfire, and I'll put a little graphic up here too so you can actually see the active ingredients in Crossfire. There's three different pesticides listed on the label. Why is that? All right, so I'm not a chemist, but 
I know that if you go into a house and you treat with one pesticide by itself, just one chemical, you might kill 80 bed bugs, but the 20 that don't die are immune to the chemical. So then you go in and you use two different chemicals, two different pesticides. Well, now you've upped your chance at killing all 100 bed bugs. And then they put a third chemical in there, which is pyronyl butoxide. And pyronyl butoxide acts as a catalyst, which, like I was saying earlier in the video, that chemical that the, that the baby bed bug is naturally, you know, that it has from, you know, from hatching from an egg, that baby bed bug is, like I said, it's naturally immune when it's born from the egg, when it hatches from the egg, it naturally has that immunity. Well, pyronyl butoxide gets rid of that chemical. So now you've got a third pesticide in the list to help with the other two that are listed there to develop, the, to, to stop the bug from developing immunity to those chemicals as well. And so I've been using Crossfire now for almost four years and I've had amazing results with it. Now, if, if the bed bugs if the bed bugs aren't dying, like let's say you're having a really good result and for about two or three weeks, you're not getting bit at all. And then you've used Crossfire. Because this is another, I want to address this too, this question that comes up on my channel. If you are using Crossfire and you uh, are still having problems with bed bugs after a couple weeks, well, one of the reasons being is because the babies are in the wall. The nymphs are actually in the wall and they don't have any desire to come out and bite you until after they reach that first instar phase where they're ready to shed their skin. And so then they'll come out and they'll feed on you. And so a lot of times all the eggs will hatch at once and you'll have a whole lot of bed bugs come out all at once to bite you. So understand that, that it's not that the crossfire isn't working. It's just the natural flow of the way that bed bugs hatch and and stuff like that. So you may need to reapply Crossfire at the third week mark uh, just to get that extra strong dose that will you know, help kill those bugs that are coming out of the wall. But you don't always have to. A lot of times the bed bugs after another week will just disappear because they'll all be out by then and they'll all come out and they'll all die. So hopefully this video has been uh, effective in teaching you the differences in you know immunities and and why immunities occur and why you have such a hard time killing bed bugs based on store-bought chemicals because everybody else is buying chemicals at the same store so just understand that if you go to walmart if you go to home depot if you go to lowe's the pesticides you buy there that say bed bugs on the label has a nice big huge bed bug right there Everybody else is buying the same thing. And when you buy that chemical, more than likely, it will not kill the bed bugs. So hopefully this video, video has been uh, effective at teaching you and that you will be able to get rid of your bed bugs on your own. Like I said, throughout the video, I'm going to link various different you know videos that you can go to and watch and hopefully uh, get the information that you need to get rid of your bed bug problem. If not, then leave me a comment below and voice your concerns, and I will try my best to give you a solution to your bug problems. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and see you next one. Oh, I want to make sure I mention this before I end my video. Every Thursday night, which today is Thursday, I'm filming this on a Thursday, I usually do film my uh, videos that I do for my YouTube channel. I usually do film them on uh, Thursdays, but Thursday nights, I do a live stream. So I'll be able to converse with you tonight if you show up and you have a question, like I said, about bed bugs or anything like that. Be sure to stop by every Thursday night for my live stream and ask me. I'm here to answer any questions that you have. I'm going to start taking telephone questions. So if you're, you know, just a little embarrassed about, you know, what kind of bug problems and stuff that you have, I'll be here to answer any questions that you got. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.